Hi, this is Ishmael. After the beep, leave me a message about a book you love. I transcribe and share at least one voicemail every day. Hi, Ishmael. Uh, I'm Rob uh, from England, Manchester. Uh, uh, and my family have never had any pets. Uh, it seems irrelevant now, but it's a fact which will surely become relevant. Uh, the book I wanted to talk about was My Family and Other Animals by Gerald Durrell. This book, I mean, where do you even start? Basically, I'm not even sure what kind of a person I would be without this book. And I guess that really is the sign of a good book, that it changes you as a person. Hopefully for the better, I guess. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, it's basically a tale uh, from the perspective of Gerald Durrell, who is basically an animal enthusiast. And as a young boy, um, he and his family gets uprooted and moves from England to Corfu. Now, he's the youngest in his family, and I myself am the youngest of two siblings. So I identified strongly with him, and essentially the book follows the most formative years of his existence as he explores the island's flora and fauna and insects, mammals, birds, and all kinds of creatures in between. Uh, I found that, basically, with every page I read, I was about 12, 13 at the time, every page, I was living my childhood vicariously through Durrell, closing my eyes <laughs> and imagining myself in the stifling heat of Corfu, surrounded by animals in every direction. Long story short, the book made me feel so much and gave me such a huge enthusiasm for the natural world that I'm currently training to be a vet so I can live my life surrounded by animals. I guess really my dream is one day to roam around Corfu like Durrell. And as well as hunting for animals, I guess in a way I'll be hunting for the kind of upbringing that I never had. Thanks, Ishmael. Bye.